Pisces, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 2nd through 9th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Pisces? Pisces, manipulation. So you might feel like somebody manipulating you or, or you're not. Or you could be manipulating somebody just to see what kind of reaction, if they know it or not, you know? All right, what's going on with the Pisces, 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 Pisces love reading for... October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Pisces love reading October 2nd through 9th, 2017. What's going on? All right, whatever the situation is, at least three to six months old. Okay, so whatever this is, it's getting ready to happen quick. I'm saying like within... I guess it's the weekly reading. So this week, no more than two weeks, no less than two days. Well, no, I guess it can happen today. All right. Ooh, so it seems like something going on with a relationship. You may find out that your partner is with somebody and they really care about you or, I mean, okay, let me slow down. When I see this card, I just get extremely excited because it's no wait time, basically. So, um, you might find out that somebody really cares about you, or you might find out, somebody might find out a, a what the other way, <laughs> all right? Or you could possibly find out that there's a, another relationship that is being cared about. Okay, so what I'm feeling like is, it's some, I'm feeling like it might be a relationship that you really care about, but they're going to let you know that you kind of like almost violating their personal space or this person that you really care about is violating your personal space, but I feel like you don't want to say anything right now. Okay. Wow. I feel like this person that you really care about, they're going to tell you that they might want to leave because, I mean, I feel like they think you're violating theirs, but they're really violating yours. Okay. Okay, so this is this is not good. I thought this was gonna be good. Oh, so it seems like um the relationship is becoming emotionally draining because of um personal space. Nobody can have their privacy. All right, yeah. Oh. So hearts are closing up at this moment because of you know people just can't. Can't compromise. Okay. One more and then we can do the Cleo card straight from the book. Maybe we can get some clarity on some things. Okay. So, um, seems like, uh, this is a constant thing. Like a constant, um, debate, argument, whatever. That you need to stay out my phone and you need to clean up after yourself kind of thing. And I feel like it's not, uh, no, nobody's caring, nobody's listening. And that's why your partner is thinking about timing out. Or you could be. One of, only one of the parties is thinking about timing out. The other one has become numb to the situation. It's just another day, part of the day, you know? All right, yeah, so, um, this makes me feel like yeah, your partner is realizing what's going on, that there's nothing being changed. And I feel like you are refusing to look at the situation for what it is. Okay. All right. So Cleo card, straight out the book. All right. What's going on for the Pisces, Pisces, Pisces? Pisces love reading. What's going on for a Pisces love reading? October 2nd through 9th. 2017 October. Oh Jesus. This makes me feel like somebody is um possibly getting a divorce or just threatening it. Yeah, for some of you you definitely getting a divorce over 
that somebody closed their heart because, you know, it's like nobody's listening. Talking to a brick wall. All right, what's going on with the Pisces? Pisces, Pisces. Pisces for the eight of ten, two through nine, 2017. Love reading, Pisces love reading. Pisces love reading. Mm. Okay, so it seems like this person was extremely strict. It could have been you or could have been the other person, but somebody was strict on how they like things done. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it seems like somebody somebody was strict trying to get some transformations to happen. It's like, do this or else, you know? Wow. I feel like the person, you know? I feel like we need one more. Okay, so it seems like you may be... You know, you still want this. You want this structure. And it seems like you want to fight for what you want. But I feel like um, the person that you're dealing with, just I think they're done. Like either change or it's over. You know, that's that stern personality here. Mm. Okay, this makes me feel like, um, I'm feeling like if it's a lost job, it's because after this situation is over, it's going to create some um, depression because it's like you knew what was happening, but you didn't know it was going to happen as quick and as fast. You know, you thought you was going to have time to fix it, but it was it was too late. All right. So we have the King of Swords. Sorry, sorry, sword. Sorry, I say that because sometimes I forget what I'm doing. All right, so the King of Swords, um, decisive action will occur quickly. Use any position of authority to act with justice. Do not let personal desire take the place of fairness. So it's like, I don't know. Here I'm just like, is it right for what's going on? Is it right for what you're doing? And is it right that you let this person control you or control this person? I, I feel like this is more of like finding a balance in this whole situation. All right, then we got the death card. This says, a dramatic change. The end of a current situation and death life begins again. The beginning of a new situation. So it's like. I think for some of you, you may try to start over, but then that's here. You know, is this right? Is this fair that I got to change my whole life to be with this person? And it seems like you might be, I'm sorry, I don't want to say this, but you might be weak because you want to fight for your, your marriage. You don't want to lose. Okay. Marriage or relationship could be either or. All right. So we got the strength card. Strength, strength card, strength card. Okay. All right, it's reverse. So indecision and weakness. Yeah. You like should I bow down? Should I bow down or should I fight for what I want? Yeah, this is definitely a hard, a hard one. And it's over boundaries. Like everybody know when you get married, you have no boundaries anymore. That's why I got a divorce. <laughs> But back to the reading, we got the nine of staffs here. Problems of your past must haunt, may haunt you. Enemies may be near. Be very careful who you trust. Take what you have learned and um the past in the past and use it. This may me makes me feel like you might be telling something to a brother or a sister or something concerning. I mean, like just your partner's family, thinking it is like. You know, off the record or whatever, but in reality, they go on to tell this person, and they probably exaggerated a little bit. I feel a little tiny bit of jealousy there. So do not tell anybody what you're feeling about the situation, because it's gonna be a definite end if you do. Okay, so we have the Ace of Staffs reverse, loss of wealth and position. Um, 
as a result of excessive vanity. Yeah, that's um doing stuff for yourself all the time, which is fine. And but it's like this is a hard decision to make and I am not going to input any more. This is up to you, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.